Alright people, welcome back. So this is Star Patrick's story. In Patrick's Dreamland, he's a superhero called Starfish Man. Everybody's made out of paper or cardboard. And everybody looks just like him. So Patrick's controls are just about the same as SpongeBob. He can spin around, ground pound. But instead of grabbing onto things and swinging on them, he can blow around like, like Madame Flurry from Paper Mario 2. And the mechanics work just about the same. Born Dead and Dog, join Dreaded Patrick's henchmen. Huh. That's where bad guys get all their henchmen. Alright, so all, just about nearly any, every enemy here is paper thin. You can easily kill them by blowing them away. That is the Dreaded Patrick. Nice name, huh? Uh, hello? Hello, Starfish Man! Oh, just a minute, I'll go get it. Starfish Man, it's for you! You're Starfish Man! Oh, yeah! Starfish Man, reporting for duty! I called to remind you of your supercharged ability! Supercharged? Yeah, I love supercharged! What supercharge? Use it to break through weak paper walls and push blocks around. Or to knock enemies out of your way. Alright then. Yeah, he can do this just like Spongebob and it's unresponsive just like Spongebob. Oh, I hate those phone booths. Oh, a dream seed. It's Right around here. Somewhere. I know how this thing works. I might as well answer the phone. Hello? Hello, Starfish Man. I thought you might need to know about your super ground slam attack. You can use it to press buttons and to attack enemies. Try it out on those over there. One more thing. Sometimes you might have to slam multiple times on a button or enemy to get the desired result. Okay, one thing that doesn't make sense is people in Patrick's Streamland are using big words. I don't recall Patrick being the type to use big words. I say, it should be around here somewhere. Eh, I'll find it sometime. Find it sometime or another. Meh. Alright. So, you don't think you have a chance against me, dreaded Patrick? <laughs> well, you don't really look all that tough. What's so funny? You don't get it. Put in the joke you can. These mini cutscenes where enemies take their time coming out of the walls get pretty annoying. Oh yeah, whenever you do a spin attack, Starfish Man will switch clothes, as you can see here. He has three different sets of clothes. Wow. I'm sucking at catching these items today, aren't I? Or coins, anyway. Anyway, I guess this, I guess this level, 
I guess this level could be similar to Paper Mario with this, this blowing mechanic and the fact you gotta push the switch multiple times and the fact that everything's two dimensional. Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense, you can't stand on that. Uh huh. Barnacle Bar, or Barnacle Bay. Huh, that sounds familiar. Okay, the Dream Seed should be up here. Not like I'm gonna try and find all the Dream Seeds, I mean, there's certain Dream Seeds and certain levels that are pretty complicated to grab. Oh, it's right here. Okay, um, there's just about three in this level. There's two green ones and a pink one, or red or whatever. Um, yeah. I don't exactly know the difference between the two different colors, but whatever. Oh, I see a crack down there. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Ugh. Ah. Again, gold coins will get you ten coins. I mean, if there's anything gold out there, you should pick it up, because gold is awesome. Not as awesome as platinum, but still pretty awesome. That's why people in Avatar World love gold pieces, not copper pieces. But yeah, toxic gas. If the switches to slightly cancel it off. I mean, you can easily um, push your way through it, take a few hits, and you'll still be able to progress. But you know. You better give up, starfish man. There's no way across. <laughs> you again. I guess here's where some of the puzzle solving takes place. Like so. Hello. Anyway, this soul here, and the one after this, they're pretty long. We spent quite a bit of time here. Oh yeah, one of the things I like about this game is the camera angle. Camera gets pretty annoying. And there's no real point to that uh, hanging cage, is there? It's there for shit and giggles, I guess. Did I just fall? Ah, oh, jeez. This is a mini cutscene. Blow all your troubles away, Patrick. Blow in the breeze, forgotten. 
I say they're minions, fool. Go me! Go me! I sent the dream scene nearby, huh? Now the whole world trembles before my magnificent visage. My perfect business! Man here. Who's calling, please? It's me, Starfish Man. I'm the only one who ever calls. Oh, yeah. Dread and Patrick's posters are plastered all over town. Use your blow attack to remove them. Just like Paper Mario 2, one poster is away. I can put still. Pick them up, Dread and Patrick. And Starfish Man knocks them down. Haha. <laughs> and a bunch of coins just randomly pop up all over the place. Well, at least they conquered bad fur day. Huh. <laughs> that is a horrible game. Is it your name? Is it your real name, Patrick Starfish Man? I'm surprised they don't do the whole Starfish Man, I am your father thing. Guess they knew that whole thing got kind of old too. If you don't go down here and pick this stuff up, it's going to disappear. I learned that the hard way the first time. And yes, there is most certainly a dream seed here. We're going to pick it up soon. But yeah, the momentum allows you to move along with the thing if you jump. I just love physics, people. Respond! That works. Okay, that works too. You don't have to break through there. You can just pick it up, pick it up through the through the wall because of the awesome magnetic picker up thingy mechanic. One of the favorite things about the SpongeBob games is the magnetic pull, where you don't have to exactly walk up to a collectible and touch it to pick it up, it just pulls itself into you when you get close enough. You can just pick stuff up through walls if you want. Okay, you can blow on these things and more coins appear. 